Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the top seven things you need to do once you've installed Home Assistant. So if you watched the first video about how to set up Home Assistant on a Windows 10 machine, this will be what you want to do next once you've got Home Assistant set up. So stay tuned, follow along. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Number one, enable dark mode. Number two, turn on advanced mode. The next thing we're going to want to do is go over and set our home location. The reason we want to do this is this defines your home zone so that you can perform automations based on where you are located. So you leave the house, turn off all the lights, come home, turn some lights back on, open the garage door, etc. We'll cover all those in future videos. Don't forget to save that once you've changed your location. And there's your home zone. Next thing we're going to want to do is install and configure terminal and SSH. So to do that, we're going to head on over to the add-ins, click terminal and SSH, click install. And once that's installed, we're going to go over to configuration. You'll notice there's a red dot. Under configuration, we're going to give it a password. I'm just going to use a simple one. You should definitely use something a little stronger. Configure port 22, save that. And we're going to enable watchdog and show that in the sidebar. Double check our configuration. Go ahead and start that. And you'll notice a little dot in the upper right turns green. The next thing we're going to do is install HACS. So on the left side, click terminal. And we're going to go ahead and enter that. You'll find that down in the description so that you don't have to pause the video and try and type that. You just copy paste it right in. Go ahead and hit enter once you've got that in there. And that will go and download and install HACS. And don't forget, we're going to need to restart Home Assistant before we try and configure HACS. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Go over to configuration, add-ons, backups, and supervisor, system, and click reboot. I'm just going to reboot the whole host. I've been doing a bunch of other stuff. You can just restart core and you'll be fine. Now, once that's restarted, we're going to go over to configuration integrations, and we're going to click add integration and type in HACS. Click that, and then you'll have to check the four boxes. Click submit, and then you're going to be presented with a code. Copy that code to your clipboard. And then go ahead and click that link. It'll take you to GitHub to link HACS to your GitHub account. If you don't have a GitHub account, you're going to have to sign up for one. I already have one, so I'm just going to paste that in there. Hit continue. And there we go. We're all set. Come back, finish. And now you'll see HACS is listed. So we'll go over and take a look at that briefly. All kinds of integrations and add-ons in here that are not part of Home Assistant. We will be utilizing a number of these in future videos. And there's a lot of things in here that you're going to want to use yourself. So thanks for watching. Hope you learned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video.